boys and girls are having a hop at the local soda fountain. Innocently, they dance. Innocent of a new and deadly menace lurking behind closed doors. Marijuana, the burning weed with its roots in hell. Hi everybody, Ryan Jackson here. I hope you're having a lovely day. Oh man, we're going to talk about Article 512, Cannabis Oil Equipment and Systems Using Flammable Materials. Did you ever think we would be talking about the devil's lettuce here in the National Electrical Code? Well, they added it in the 2023 NEC, and this is what it says. Okay, so Article 512, new article for cannabis oil extraction facilities was created. Now, you're going to notice that this is Chapter 5, which is special occupancies, and this is the front half of Chapter 5, which is hazardous locations. Now, the NEC does not typically classify locations for you. If you're doing an oil refinery or if you're doing a, a coal-fired power plant or something, you can't just open up the NEC and say, okay, within 12 inches of this equipment, it's this, and within a foot of that, it's this. That, that's not the way the NEC works. The NEC says, listen, you're going to have to have a design team and figure out how to classify the area. Do you have normally ignitable mixtures, uh, you know, under normal conditions, or is it only under abnormal conditions? Do you have suspensions of combustible dust, or do you have layers of combustible dust? The NEC doesn't do it for you, except in a couple of instances. We have gas stations pretty well figured out. We have a million of them, and they're all pretty much the same. So we can tell you in Article 514, you go to 514.3, and it's going to say, listen, within 18 inches of the fuel dispenser, it's Class 1, Division 2, and then going up 18 from the ground and out 20 feet, it's also Class 1, Division 2. Inside the dispenser, it's whatever the manufacturer says. Directly beneath the dispenser in the containment area, it's Class 1, Division 1. Again, it's a gas station. We know what a gas station is. We have 10 million of them. Same thing with a repair garage in Article 511. And to a certain degree, the same thing in Article 516 for spray booths. If you have a spray booth, the inside of the spray booth might be a Class 1 Division 1. Outside of the booth might be Class 1 Division 2, depending on whether it's an open front or an open top or a totally enclosed. So my point is, Usually, the NEC does not classify the area for you. So there was a big debate in the 2023 about whether or not we should add an article specifically for cannabis oil preparation and extraction facilities because as of right now, July of 2023, there, there's not that many of them. However, in the near future, there probably are going to be a lot more. So. Do we want to classify the area and treat it like gas stations and repair garages and spray paint, spray paint booths? Or should we just let the design team figure it out? That was the debate. Well, as you can see, we decided to create a new Article 512 for cannabis oil preparation and extraction facilities. Now, it's not just the fact that the flower is flammable. I mean, I'm led to believe that all you have to do is touch a match to this stuff and it goes up in smoke. You know? <laughs> but it, it's not that part of it that's the concern. If it was, it would be class two locations, wouldn't it? If you ground it up and it, and it was ignitable. The issue is not the leaf, the flower, but the extraction of the oil and the process of extracting it. Now, extracting oil from a plant is not new. It might be new for cannabis, certainly not new for things like lavender. Uh, so we already have equipment and we have the, the procedure and we know how it works, but you know the procedure often involves ethanol or uh, butane and creates uh, uh, carbon dioxide, so it is kind of a hazardous ordeal. So we decided to create a new article. Now it was kind of fun watching the code development process because on this code making panel you have guys that are, uh, you know, people that work at refineries, and you have AHJs that are familiar with, with hazardous locations, and then you actually had some people from uh, the federal government who are very, you know, quite intelligent and, and, and definitely worth having on board and, and really understand hazardous locations, but the guys that work for the federal government are like, uh, guys, <laughs> we work for the Fed, we, we can't vote yes to approve an article that right now is a federal crime. <laughs> you know, and, until we make marijuana and cannabis legal throughout the country, 
we can't really vote yes on this, but you know we can kind of give you some guidance. Or, you know, and we can tell you what the hazards are. But anyway, it, it was kind of fun watching the way this worked out. So. Suffice it to say, if you have a facility like this in your bedroom closet or your basement, or, you know, more likely, if you have it in, you know, a big warehouse like this where you grow it and then you extract the oil, Article 512 is right up your alley. So take a read on Article 512, by the way. There is a new NFPA standard that will be published very soon that, that will help you with this. It's NFPA 420. And no, I'm not making that up. It really is an FPA 420. All right. See you guys on the next video when we start talking about Article 555, marinas, boatyards, floating buildings, docking facilities. See you then.